Hi, everyone. I welcome everyone in the Better Bones community. This afternoon, we're going to have a little fun. My office, my staff, we've been really busy preparing a report for you on this new bone drug that's just come out. You might have seen the report yesterday in the New York Times reporting that most osteoporosis drugs don't build bone, but this one does. And it's a whole fanfare about a new drug, a new drug that they're calling Avenity. Um, the technical name is really complica complicated, Ramosozumab. No wonder they call it Avenity to make it simple. This drug is a very interesting new type of drug. It has a really peculiar history and it is held to build bone. But what I'm going to show you is that it really doesn't reduce fracture very much and that's the most important thing. So if you are interested in this analysis of this new drug, if you want to know what you need to know when your doctor tells you you should think about this drug, stay tuned. And also we'd like you to share this little discussion with your group so that many women around the world can learn about this new drug. Like I say, it's been very interesting looking into this drug. So the first thing is you might wonder, what about this drug? So this drug has just been released and actually it has a black, black box warning. And a black box warning on a drug means there's very serious possible side effects. In this particular case, this black box warning is that there's an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular disease. These are the major problems that can happen, even though they may be rare. They've had to put a black box warning on it, and then there's some other additional side effects that are things like possible necrosis of the jaw, possible unwarranted fractures, several other adverse reactions that they've reported in the studies, minor reactions from allergic responses to low blood calcium, to necrosis of the jaw, to atypical fractures. Many of these side effects we've heard before with some of the other bone drugs that halted bone breakdown. This is a new drug. It's held to build bone formation and it has its own serious bunch of side effects. The most distinctive ones are the heart attack and stroke. But you say, you might say, so what is this new drug? What it is, it's an antibody to a natural factor that the body produces. The body produces a sclerostin, which actually is a natural turnoff switch to bone growth. So the body produces you know, we produce all kinds of factors that stimulate bone growth, all kinds of factors that slow down bone growth. And through a most peculiar history I'm going to tell you about, and as an anthropologist, it's a fascinating story, they found out that this particular turnoff switch to bone growth occurred in certain areas of the world and people developed really strong bones, although there was some problems with that, as you're going to see in a second. So then they said, let's develop a drug that can stop this turnoff switch so that bone just keeps growing and growing and growing. This is the new drug, Aventity. Just to show you a little illustration of how it works, you might be able to see this slide. It talks about sclerostin and how it really works to, it works to inhibit bone formation so the bone formation doesn't get run away. The body has so many checks and balances, so they discovered this one checks and balances. The, the sclerostin is produced by the bone cells, and it's a way to quiet down bone formation. Now, how did they ever get this idea? Well, they got this idea of developing a drug that halted the action of sclerostin because there's a population in South Africa. Some Dutch immigrants went there some time ago, and there was one single mutation a mutation that actually caused the sclerostin not to be effective and you got overgrowth of bone. These, there were 66 people they've identified now that have this, all from one single founder, that have this mutation. And they develop things like progressive skeletal overgrowth. They develop enlarged skull and mandible, often with facial palsy. They develop high intracranial pressure from the, crane, from the cranium developing such big bone, and they often develop deafness. So when they discovered this population, they said, wow, maybe we could do a drug that, that took off the breaks on bone growth and we could build more new bone. So they actually did that, and the drug that you've seen is the one that came out today that everyone is really raving about, that it can build bone. 
those of you that followed the work at the Center for Better Bones know that what we care about is actually the end point is fracture reduction. How much can this drug reduce fracture and of course is it safe? So they have to do studies before they can put these drugs on the market. They don't have to do too many studies in my mind. They may do a few year study. There, for example, there's been a couple studies on this new drug and one of the studies was a year-long study and they took as always a placebo group and a control group there were almost 4,000 people in each group so it was fairly significant it was done over one year but they're only dealing with vertebral fractures because they have not been able to see an impact significantly on hip fractures so we're only talking vertebral fractures and amongst these nearly 4,000 people they gave this drug they found that they were able to prevent an absolute reduction of 1.3%. So they look at the number of people that fracture in the placebo group, the number of people that fracture in the drug group. Those of you can look at the slide very carefully on your own if you want. When you boil all the data down, the placebo group, they had 1.8% of the people fractured <clears throat> in the people using this new drug. You had 0.5 people prevent fracturing. But the real point of this is absolute fracture reduction. How many people did you have to treat to prevent vertebral fractures? And what this study showed of this drug, which is sure to be very expensive, was that you had to treat, if you treated 100 people, you would prevent 1.3 vertebral fractures. 100 people of this expensive and fairly, I would say, risky drug to prevent 1.3 fractures. So when your doctor says we have a new great drug that could build new bone, you ask him, doc, how many fractures does it prevent? Now, the drug companies will be allowed to say this prevents 73% of fractures because that's the relative risk reduction. In one group, they fractured 1.8%, 0.5%, and that when you figure the number of people that were fractured, they're allowed to say it was a 73% relative fracture reduction. But in reality, the absolute risk reduction, and we've talked a lot of time about really doing absolute risk. How many prevent fractures do you really prevent? have to treat 100 people to prevent 1.3 vertebral fractures and they were, not be a they were not able in these studies to prevent any hip fractures. And the studies have to be much different, much larger, so few hip fractures occur. So from the Center for Better Bones point of view, this drug, yeah, it does increase new bone and you're going to see the studies on bone density. When they gave this drug a venity, to 12 months, they gained 5.8% in the hip. You say, wow, that's great. 5.2% in another part of the hip, the neck of the hip. And 12% or 12.7% in the spines. You say, these are great bone density gains. <clears throat> in fact, with natural programs, we only, you can see these gains, but they're not really common. People have to build a lot of strength, build a lot of muscle, really do an excellent diet in order to build this kind of bone density. It really is unusual. We'd say, great, there's good bone density gains, but there was very little fracture reduction. Remember, we care about fracture reduction. And the second point is that these gains are lost within one year if you do not take another drug after you've taken this drug that tends to build bone. And you might remember this was the same story with other drugs like Forteo, you could build some bone, but you would lose everything that you gained if you did not take another drug. The Forteo also had a black box warning. This new drug has a black box warning that it has serious side effects. So you build a bone, but then you lose everything within a year. And of course, what the drug companies are saying and their studies actually are doing, you take this new powerful drug to build bone for a year, and then you must continue on something like an anti-resorptive drug like Fosamax really for the rest of your life. So just know when they say, oh, we've got this new miracle that's really helping bone, it builds new bone like no other drug, remember that it comes with certain risks and that you will lose everything you built within one year if you do not plan to stay on a drug which is powerful enough to halt bone breakdown. 
as always, we at the Center for Better Bones favor a natural approach. There may be some people that a natural approach is not working, but we want everyone to be aware of the complications of these drug therapies. No matter what you do, we all want to be working for strong bones, strong muscles, overall good health, lifelong. So I hope this was useful, and we'll be talking to you soon.